So you might be in a weird situation where for some reason your screen is flickering on your Android phone. Now what does this mean? Well basically sometimes your Android phone can have a screen that just like flickers on and off or you know if maybe it turns on and off whatever. Now this is not a way to fix it if it's a hardware defect. Like if you threw your phone and you slammed it on the floor and now it randomly started doing that, there's really not much you can do in that specific situation. These are mostly for if you've been in a situation where it's like a software thing. The first thing I'd recommend doing is restarting your phone. So hold down the buttons you normally would to, you know, actually restart your device. In this case, it can be the power button and the, you know, volume down button in the specific situation. Hold down those two buttons right there. And what you're going to want to do from there is to go ahead and restart your device. So go ahead, restart your phone, and that could very well end up fixing the problem there too. And that's probably what I'd recommend doing in your specific situation. Now, if you do that, then you should be good. If that doesn't work or for some reason you're running into problems there, the other thing you're going to want to try doing is you want to go and see if there's some sort of display issue going on with your phone. Sometimes you can be in situations where the display you have maybe is faulty or there may be some other things. If you can go into your display option here and turn off adaptive brightness, which will go ahead and basically turn off that automatic brightness, and that can stop the display from talking to the automatic brightness stuff to kind of fix it. I've had this happen before and that's something I'd probably recommend you to do as well. If that doesn't work, another thing you may want to try doing on your Android phone is to try, you know, actually seeing if there's an update available for your device. So what you can try doing once again is going into your settings display, settings option like this, clicking into software update, clicking on download and install, and essentially download and installing that update that's available as well. And I think that's another really, really cool option that you have of simply just updating your device. And that can probably end up fixing the problem for you. And that's probably what's going to end up fixing it. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. The like button helped me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.